Welcome back. One in three Americans say they've fallen for a phone vulnerable. Adriana Diaz is here for you now with a few ways you can protect your children in tonight's Mondays for Moms. Do their social skills you know, match up with the access that they have? At Chicago's Peterson Elementary School, parents are ready for a lesson on kids' cell phone safety. Devorah Heitner wrote the guide screen-wise. We should ask our kids permission um, before we share their picture. Creighton Berman just gave his 12-year-old a phone. Linda Gibson's 13-year-old has one, too. Our kids aren't always able to distinguish what's real and what's reliable, and so that's been my main concern. My son uses Discord, which is, uh, what is you know, that? It's, it's like a Slack, but, but for any interest, it's fairly anonymous. We talk about it a lot, but that is one that makes me kind of nervous. What should parents know to try to keep them safe? Anyone who's trying to exploit your child sexually, emotionally, financially, uh, they will use those threats to isolate them and scare them. If your child knows they have a safe person in you and that you will fight for them and be on their side, they're much less vulnerable. Heitner also suggests removing phones at bedtime, using parental controls to limit screen time and apps, researching apps your kids want on sites like Common Sense Media, not allowing headphones during games where your child can chat, and modeling good behavior. Ultimately, I believe that mentoring is more powerful than monitoring. We want to teach them how to do the right thing. And we've had a lot of conversations about even just pictures that kids post on social media. For his phone, I think what we're going to do is limited to just texting and phone calls. We'll probably find ways around it. So I'm, I think open dialogue is really the biggest thing. It's, it's all you can really do. Adriana Diaz, CBS News.